Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of the Imagine with Kira podcast. I am Kira Bixler, um, and I'm so glad you're here today. I will be talking to another very special guest. Her name is Laura Jane Kirkpatrick, and she is Miss Louisiana's Teen 2023. She's actually currently in my home state of California, um, getting ready to be in the Rose Parade, which is an opportunity of a lifetime. It's something that I've always dreamed about doing, and I'm so excited that she gets to have this experience um, and that she's taking time out of her extremely busy schedule of preparing for Miss America's Teen and being in the Rose Parade um, to be on my podcast. So I will catch y'all when she hops on. Everyone, and welcome or welcome back to the Imagine with Kira podcast. I'm joined by another very special guest today, and I'll have her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Laura Jane Kirkpatrick, and I'm Miss Louisiana's teen. Amazing. I'm so excited to dig into some questions. And then um, you are actually somewhere very special right now. And so I'd love for you to start off by telling everybody about that. Yeah. So I'm actually in California right now because on Monday I'll, I'll be riding in the Rose Bowl Parade. Um, thankfully, Louisiana has a float in the parade. And so the lieutenant governor asked me to ride in it. And I'm so excited because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, but also such like a cool experience. I'm actually at uh, the place where they build the floats right now. And every, all the volunteers, we have hundreds and hundreds of volunteers, and they're all just helping put the flowers on the float and not a single um there can't be any space of that's not filled with flowers or weeds or seeds. So it's really just a crazy process. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. That, what an opportunity. And then you're like, you're here in California right now. And then you're going to be headed to Florida soon. Like (laughs) such a busy, great time. I love it. Okay. I'd love to know how your journey in the Miss America opportunity began. Well, actually, my mom and my grandma were both title holders. My grandma was Miss Mississippi, and my mom was Miss Louisiana. And so I always kind of grew up, obviously, going to the Miss Louisiana pageant, watching it. But I never didn't really, like, grow up doing pageants. I didn't start um, the Miss Louisiana's Teen program until I was uh, 15, I think. And on the third time, I ended up winning the title. But... I mean, just from what I heard, all the wonderful things from my mom and my grandma, I mean, I had to try it out. And I really have, I'm so thankful to have gotten the same experiences as them. And I've learned so much. That's so cool. It's it's like a family tradition. That's, that's yes. a <laughs> unique thing. I love it. Um, so what was that journey like for you over those three years? Um, I feel like that's a pretty normal time span after interviewing several state title holders now that on their third time um, it happened. So I'd love to hear what those three years looked like for you. Yeah, so the first year, um, I mean, even though my mom and my grandma competed, they both didn't really know much about the teen organization. And so the first year I kind of went in like blinded. I was like, okay, this is just going to be a trial run. I'm going to learn. And learning, I did. (laughs) If you can see me from the first time that I competed to the last time that I competed, you would see a huge growth. I mean, I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about the organization. And uh, like I said, I've learned so many like life lessons that I'm so grateful to have. That's awesome. So I would love to hear about your service initiative. My platform is called Leave Your Mark. And through this platform, I encourage others that they have the power to positively impact another person because I feel like a lot of times people think that they have to um, have like a big job or perform a big grand gesture in order to truly impact a person. But in reality, it's through the small gestures and the small things that you can really um, leave your mark on somebody else. That's awesome. I would love to hear about your talent as well. I know you sent me like a really, really cool photo of you doing a trick. And I was like, I have to ask her about this. So I'd love to hear about your talent. Yeah. So I have been dancing ever since I was, I think, three years old. So it's been a long time. I kind of grew up as a competition dancer. And I still compete and still do competition dance. But I am doing a lyrical dance as my talent. And it's to the song I Dreamed a Dream, which I chose that song because um, you know, I had this dream of being Miss Louisiana's teen, and now I have a dream of being Miss America's teen, so I feel like I can really just relate to the song, and um, one of my favorite things about dance is I get to, I dance to, like, express myself rather than impress other people, and so I love, like, just getting to tell a story through my dancing. That's super cool. Yes, I love that song so much, so it'll be really cool to see it all together. Yes, I did. Um, I'd also love to hear what your favorite phase of competition is in the Miss America organization. 
talents. I mean, since I've just grown up dancing, I think obviously I, I love every single phase of the competition, um, but I feel like talent, I really get to um, express myself, like I said, and just show other people what I've been working basically my whole life on. That's really cool. Let's see what else. Um, so are you a senior in high school right now? Awesome. Yes, I'm a senior. So I'm very sure that, you know, college applications, um, scholarship applications, all of that is yeah. going on in your life. Um, what are your career goals for the future? So like you said, right now I'm applying to colleges. I applied to six colleges, Georgia, SMU, Auburn, LSU, Alabama, and UVA. And I've heard back from five of the colleges and I got into Georgia and SMU which were my top two, and I'm still waiting to hear back from UVA, which I also love, so I'm going to have trouble deciding <laughs> because they're all such great schools. But after college, um, well, in college, I plan to get a degree in business management, and then after college, I plan to hopefully move to New York, and I would love to be a Rockette. That is my dream. That is a huge dream of mine that I've had since I was a younger girl, so uh, I really hope I can make that happen after college. That's that's such a cool dream. And I mean, you've been growing up dancing, so I think it's yeah. been within reach. Um, <laughs> see, how much scholarship money have you earned so far um, in your journey in the Miss America organization? I, I've earned about $15,000, oh. which my parents are very excited about <laughs> <laughs> as I'm searching for colleges, which I'm very thankful, very, very thankful for that. And hopefully more soon with Miss America's Teen Red around yes. the corner. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, <laughs> Okay, so Miss America's teen is very, very close now, and I know that you are on a trip across the country <laughs> as well, so Miss America prep might look a little bit different for you right now, but what would a normal day in your life preparing to compete for Miss America's teen look like? I always try to, like I even consider this as prep, I always try to talk to somebody, have somebody ask me questions once a day. Um, I try to rehearse my talent at least once a week. Um, and obviously I'm doing dance classes on the side. So that plays into my um, talent dance as well. And then obviously working on staying physically fit, watching what I eat and making sure that I'm staying healthy mentally as well, because this process can get very stressful. <laughs> That's totally true. I'm sure that <laughs> there's a lot of nerves and a lot of excitement all at once. And so hopefully yeah. this trip too will kind of be like, like you said, I you're know. always prepping, but like a break too. That's awesome. Right. Every, everybody's kind of surprised. They're like, oh, wow, you're you're going on a trip before you leave. And I'm like, I mean, it's kind of a break, but also I have all this free time while I'm here and I'll be able to prepare while I'm here as well. Yeah. So it's not like I'm taking a, a vacation or anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah. Let's see. So since you've been competing for three years now, I'm curious if you have any pageant superstitions or traditions that you follow. So the earrings that I'm wearing for my evening gown were actually my mom's that she wore when she was at Miss America. That's um, so cool. Which are very dear to me because on the back of them, they have angels on them. And so I think that they're, they're very, very dear to my heart, which funny story, we actually misplaced them, <laughs> but we found them hidden in a cabinet. I was like, I have to find those earrings. Oh because goodness. I was like, I'm not, I'm not touching my earrings. I'm not touching my evening gown from the time I compete to state, to, from state to nationals. Because I was like, I don't want to lose it. Well, then I forgot where I put it. <laughs> but we found it. We found it. Oh my goodness, that's such a cool thing. Oh, but that's I love that. Wow. Yes. Yes. yes keeping the family with you. Um, <laughs> I always ask. Okay, I don't know if we're allowed to know this. I think. This podcast will be coming out after New Year's, so I think you might be able to share a little bit. Um, but what does your trip look like for going to the Rose Bowl parade, all of that? Um, what does your float look like? What are you wearing? All of the details. <laughs> yes. So um, I'm wearing a big purple gown with gloves that are purple, and they have roses on them. And then I have a cute little choker, and then obviously I'll be wearing my banner and my crown. And then um, the float is uh, absolutely amazing. This year they're doing a moving float. So they have like, the theme is Mardi Gras for Louisiana. And so they have um, this like person that's moving their arm, acting like they're throwing beads. And then they have like different elements moving up and down. It's wow. really great. And y'all should definitely, everybody watching this podcast, they should definitely watch um, 
it on TV because it's going to be great. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see it. That is, that's such like an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm, that's so exciting. I love it. Um, I always ask this question too, and people either love it or they hate it, but I always ask it anyways. Um, why should you be the next Miss America's teen? I mean, I think all of the girls from every state, they're obviously very qualified, but I think what I, how I stand out is because um, I have a special love for this organization because of my mom and my grandma growing up with it. And my goal is to really spread that love to as many young teenage girls as possible. And I can do that through my talent, just dancing for other people, or I can do that through spreading my platform, leave your mark, because this organization has left its mark on me and I want it to leave its mark on as many other people as possible. That's great. Yeah. And I mean, their whole theme this year is bring back the magic and you've definitely right. been following the magic for a while. So <laughs> you would <Yes>. know. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I would love for you to talk a little bit about um, America's Choice, how people can vote for you, and then also right. where people can follow you on social media. Yes. So uh, the America's Choice is basically like a People's Choice Award. Um, you can vote by uh, clicking the link in my bio or the, I think the Miss America's Teen or Miss America. They have it linked somewhere on their Instagram pages. Um, you have to donate. One dollar is one vote. And whoever wins the America's Choice Award gets automatically gets to be in the top ten, which is very exciting. Um you can vote for me, like I said, by clicking the link in my bio. My Instagram for Miss, Miss Louisiana's Teen is Miss America's Teen LA. Um, and my main Instagram is Laura Jane YK. So you can find it at either of those places. So please vote for me. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for making this work. I know your life is very crazy right now, so I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to watch you in the Rose Parade very, very soon. Um, and I'll be there for Miss America Week. So I'll hopefully get to meet Yay. you in person and I'll be there yes. cheering you on um, from the audience. And you're amazing. And I cannot wait to see um, what your future looks like. Well, thank you. This was great. Thank you so much. Of course. Well, I will see you in like less than two weeks. I know. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. She is the coolest. I could totally picture her being a rocket someday. Um, I wish I had the height or the talent for that, but I am so excited to see all that she accomplishes um, at Miss America's Teen um, in her dance career and her college career and everything else. She is so cool. Um, if you or someone you know would be a great guest on the Imagine with Kira podcast, feel free to message me through my email at imaginewithkira at gmail.com. You can also find me on Instagram at Imagine with Kira and at Instagram at Miss Fresno County Teen, on Facebook at Kira Bixler, on TikTok at Blondie Bix. Where else? Oh, yes. And then you can find this podcast on YouTube and on Spotify by searching Imagine with Kira. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Be water, my friend. I am Kira Bixler, and this is Imagine with Kira.